Hi everybody, welcome to my little corner where there is no wrong way to play with paper. And today I'm doing the Through the Rainbow monthly challenge that I do with my crafty friend over in the girl cave, Miss Jeanette. She's amazing. You girl, guys, you girls. It could be guys too. You guys have heard me speak of her several times. I love Jeanette. Jeannie Laguini here on YouTube. You will find her link and everyone that does the Through the Rainbow challenge each month in the description. Through the Rainbow is last year we literally did colors each month and started with the beginning and went all the way through the month. We started with white and kept going. This year we're doing 2.0. So we're doing wood grain, the in-between things, right? Some metallics. And today I'm going to talk about geographic paper, okay? Um, that abstract paper that has pretty colors like this one. This is the one that I'm using. And this was just a cardstock out of a paper pad that I had for ages. And to use them, I personally, you guys see, I have a double page layout going here and we're going to put it together in a minute. I personally do not like geometric papers because I struggle with them. And I don't think I'm alone in that. But the ones that I have that I do keep, it is a select select few, I store them by color. Like this particular, I have one in teal and I have one in peach. And I could find them in either one because I know I would not do a two-page layout. I will cut it up like this and make a base page, which is all this is, is a base page where I have put down a set of photos on top of. Usually it's with the background. Now, with that said, let me tell you what I do use geographic printed paper for. Nine out of 10 times, I use them for die cuts. They make beautiful flowers. They make happy, um, multicolored titles. That is a lot of times what I use them for. But like this, I'm not opposed to using this way. I just don't have a lot. The whole point of this is to think about the things you have in your stash. I mean, this is how I take it. Jeanette can, um, I know she'll watch this, so she can tell me if I'm wrong. But use what you have. And that's why I love Jeannie so much because she mixes old and new. She will take older products, mix them with new, and she creates beautiful things. Really check her out, you guys, because we all have those older things. Some of us have been scrapping. I talked to a gal the other day. She's been scrapbooking over 30 years. Yeah, and how things have changed, because they have. They have truly changed. So get out those papers that have the geographic designs with the circles and the, the squares and the diamonds and all of that and play with them. Whatever way is you want to do it, there's not a wrong way. Those are just the ways that I do it. And with that said, let's put a layout together. Let's have some scrappy fun, right? Um, let's see. I can't remember who all does the Through the Rainbow. I believe Terry does it. I have, I'm not looking at the list. There are so many crafty people. And go over and check out the Girl Cave um, Facebook group. I have that as well. And people post in there as well and be inspired. That's what this is about. I post what I post so it inspires other and I hope you guys um, get that from it. All right, so I have my little pile of goodies here. I'm not gonna lie. I already kind of know what I'm gonna do. So I'm just gonna kind of go over that. This is an embellished from an embellishment swap. It came with a little camera here. I don't know who made it, but over on Ginger's Corner, you guys know, we do embellishment swaps. That's going to go on this side, and my title is going to go here. That's why I have so much space over here. I am going to do a little journaling, and to do that, I have a journaling block. I got this in a swap as well, so almost everything here, except maybe two things are from swaps, honestly. But come swap with us. We have fun. All right, so there is where I'm going to journal. This is Jill and Jason, and um, they are, Jill, they're 18 months apart, right? Now I'm just going to keep on going. I'm going to put a birdie over here, and <laughs> Jill could not stand it if we were laughing and being silly with the baby, and she would come in and just get right in front of my camera, like right in front of the phone, right? And <laughs> <laughs> she just had to be a part of it. So she's being all cheesy, helping me give her baby brother a bath. Super cute, super cute. I have another one of these and these were made by Donna. So I am going to have one here and I am going to have one here. I think I want to um, pull this in just a hair or pull it out. We'll 
we'll play with it a little bit here and make it work just like so okay and then I have this really cute umbrella it was made for a swap I think I've actually had this one a really long time one of our very first swap was called um, rain sunshine and rainbows or something like that and I believe I got this in that um, and I'm going to put that tuck this in right over here matches perfectly doesn't it then I have some tucky bits now lots of times people will send like groupings of stuff and so I just went through my color drawers, y'all, uh, that I have on my desk. I'm gonna tuck this frame here, just like that. And I'm gonna tuck this little swirly bit over here behind this birdie, okay? Let me see if I can get it up here. Now I will straighten everything out. Then I have just a block. I believe my friend Kelly, remember if you guys watched a couple days ago, I told you she purged a bunch of things that I went to a treat to and this was in the baggie of goodies and i will put the year right over there on that okay and let's see then i've got a little cutest button this is the one thing i did not get from a friend and or a swap is um i've had this sticker <laughs> this is like a 1990 sticker i'm not exaggerating but it finally is going to find a home and it's going right here so because it said cute as a button, well, I pulled out some buttons, why not? I think I'm just gonna adjust this just a hair. Let me, let me maneuver here, okay? And part of the reason I already have this done today, usually you guys know I do trial and error, is because I have been on the phone all day and I was working on this while I was on the phone. Yeah, I've been, trying to set up some doctor's appointments for junior so we can work on getting him an IEP, some help from school. Um, so cross your fingers, say a little prayer, all that good stuff. All right, so because it says cues the button, I thought I've always got buttons I'm trying to use. Now these I already had, these weren't in a swap or gifted. So I'm gonna put a button in the middle of the camera. Again, I don't have a ton of journaling. I can pull this out more if I need, need to. And then I'm gonna take two buttons and put them here. Now I think, let's just slide this whole thing down, give myself some little room, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be my page. Very simple, but look how many photos I have. I have three, six, seven, eight photos. Um, and they're decent sized photos, you guys know me. I don't care if they're blurry, they're part of my life, they're part of my past, and I want them. So, some of these are not the best photos, but they tell the story, and they show the joy that these two have for each other. Well, they had, they're teenagers, now all they do is fight. But <laughs> Don't touch me, get out of my room, that's all here now. <laughs> but um, don't be afraid to use this background paper, your geometric papers, because look, it's tying it all together, right? It's giving you a little bit of color, but they're for simple backgrounds. That's what I use them for, or to make embellishments, like I said. Um, don't be afraid to do it. Just pull them out and do it. Make some happy horizontals and some base pages and have, have lots of fun. Let me go glue it down. I am debating on maybe inking the edges of maybe even just this, but I don't know for sure. And if I do, I will do it in a teal. Um, not black. I don't, I think that's maybe too harsh. So let me go glue it down, come back, and I don't know what we'll talk about. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. I got it all glued down. I put the year here. I did my journaling here. He, here. Here. That's the word I'm looking for. Here. Then I did ink this edge here and this of my journaling block with a teal. Let's see. I should have kept that out. Let me grab it real quick. Oh, I don't even know what I did with it, y'all. It's in here. It's, it's with my, my inks. Let's see. Um, right here. Um, peacock feather. That's the name of it. And just to give it a little bit more dimension. Um, I hope you guys really are inspired. That's always the goal. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. That's how I'm going to base my content for the upcoming year. If you guys love the Through the Rainbow Challenge as much as I do, check out the other creators. Go over and say hi to them. Tell them I sent you. With that, you guys be blessed. Thanks for being here, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Thank you.